Okay, thanks very much. Uh, I think all of you, you must then appreciate the fact that Limpopo is a very diverse uh, province in terms of both culture and, and other uh, diverse uh, opportunities that you can find. But in terms of sports, you know that uh, ourselves as a province, we must uh, pride ourselves in the process of identifying talent amongst our young people. So what I'm going to bring in this department for the people of Limpopo is uh, the energy that uh, uh, this department uh, has been lacking in terms of that particular aspect. You know, when uh, you have identified uh, a sporting or a champion who represent the province or the country, you must, as a province, take pride in those initiatives. And that uh, particular exercise should not find us wanting. We need to be involved uh, in the process of identifying that challenge, challenge uh, that talent from the grassroots uh, level. You know, our young people are really talented and we can only realize it if we go on the ground, encourage them to participate in sport. When a person is participating in sport, that person is having two benefits. The person is entertaining the, the fans, and on the other hand, that particular person is exercising in a, or the person is regarded as being fit health-wise. So, you know, young people in this province, and in particular our people who are from the rural areas, are taking sports for granted, and we want to turn the situation around to encourage them to make sports their daily activities. Uh, you know, already it's like you are a prophet. Already I'm being approached by a group of artists. They are saying I must keep my door open for them because they will want to work hand in hand with, with me so that we can help them to to achieve their their goals so i'm more than prepared to can assist them together with the department to make it a point that we produce artists that can represent us globally and also uh, in the in the whole country south africa because you know that we have got artists like kendi zoma deben she reigns from here, Ramujaji. Such uh, artists, I think there are many of them. So we we'll need to embrace them, even when we have uh, opportunities, when we have events. We can't go to an extent of uh, having artists from outside the borders of our province, whilst we have got local artists that are equally talented. So priority will be given to local artists, I think. That's one message that I want to send to all our artists to say, let them continue to perform for the, in, in the best of their, their capabilities. We are here to assist them to reach greater heights. Uh, remember, I'm from the African National Congress, and in the ANC, issues of deployment are not uh, uh, discussed. You are just told an hour before the appointment that you must just avail yourself the premier is calling you is going to appoint you so i can't say that i was well aware that i'm going to be appointed i got the news just one hour before the premier could do an an, an official appointment yeah. currently as the department we are busy renovating the stadium in Toyando and that is within the spirit of saying that we want to embrace our own local teams, the three of them, 
and we also want to say to the whole country that <clears throat> Limpopo is equally talented and is equally able to can compete in the challenges like your PSL and all that. So currently as the department we are renovating that stadium, I think the renovations are almost towards mm -hmm. completion mm -hmm. and that on its own should therefore say to the members of the public that really the department is committed on their mandate to make it a point that we embrace the talent that we have locally in the province of Limpopo. Remember, I'm coming in the middle of the of the process or the already the APP of the department has been adopted. So what I'm going to do is just to make it a point that we meet the 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 targets as stipulated in the in the APP because I can't say now when there there is an existing APP and say I want to bring in and want to introduce new strategies because already the process has already kick started. We are now in the process of implementing the adopted APP. So what I will do is just to monitor the implementation of the adopted APP. And then in the next uh, financial year, that's when we can therefore look at how we have performed and how can we innovate in certain areas.